Hello everyone, I'm Ron Grant coming to you live and direct from Tortola in the Virgin Islands. You're watching 284 Media, thank you so much for your time. On May 3rd in the United States Virgin Islands, the return of horse racing is coming to the people of the Virgin Islands. Joining me virtually is USVI Commissioner of the Department of Sports, Parks and Recreation, Mr. Calvert White. Just to speak on this return, huge return of course, of horse racing and the immense level of work that has been undertaken to make sure that this culturally relevant sporting activity is returned to the Virgin Islands. Islands, of course, uh, as part of their carnival festivities. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break. Uh, Angie, how can I get my claims paid quick? Rent's due next week. CG processes 99% of claims within five days. Remember when I was hang on with those goats? I caught a gust of wind and flew right into a moving car. Every appendage was in the cast, and they paid fast and fairly. That's what I get for trusting a man with a mustache and an eye patch. Now I gotta go. I'm meeting the guy who bedazzled my toes. 99% of claims are processed within five days. CG Insurance. Good like that. Start the year off with more. More speed, more downloading, more savings, and more FIA. CCT FIA Fiber Internet gives you the speed you need to keep the whole family connected. Packages starting at $119 with speeds from 300 megabytes per second, super fast, unlimited downloads, even more reliable connectivity, plus free live streaming TV for the family to enjoy. Sign up for the absolute best fiber internet service in the BVI, CCT FIA, and pay no installation fee. Plus, get CCT Live TV for free. You deserve more. Get more with CCT. Life Unlimited. Welcome back, everyone, and thank you so much for sticking with us. As promised, I am joined by USVI Commissioner of the Department of Sports, Parks, and Recreation, Mr. Calvert White. Mr. White, I want to thank you for your time and, of course, uh, congratulate you and your hardworking team on the return of horse racing in the United States Virgin Islands. Thank you for your time and welcome. Thank you for having me. You know, this is a very exciting time to be in the Virgin Islands. We haven't had horse racing for the last seven years. And I can't tell you, you know, the anticipation is building up. People are talking about the races. They can't wait to get out to the track. And, and, and they're going to see a new facility because the facility is not what they remember when the twin storms hit us in 2017. Wonderful. Now, I want to talk about the level of work and sacrifice uh, that has been going on behind the scenes to make this a reality. Tell us about some of the, the initiatives that have taken place to uh, cause the return of horse racing. Well, well first of all, the, the timeline that was given was kind of pressing. Uh, you know, the governor mentioned in his state of the territory address uh, in January that he was going to be the next governor to give the governor's cup trophy out. Um, it's funny because I, I was actually at, in attendance to that 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 uh, state of the edit. My head eventually went up mm -hmm. and started looking at him because I knew what that meant. It meant that he was going to give me a task to make sure that horse racing happened this year. Um, a lot, a lot of work have gone into to, to making this event possible. Uh, I can't thank Southland Gaming VI enough. Uh, they are the company responsible for for building a new facility. But there's a lot of individuals that have come together and teamed up to make sure that this day is possible, uh, not to exclude the horse owners and the horsemen and the fans who make racing possible. Absolutely. And speaking about the fans, of course, on May 3rd, uh, tell us about the, the, the purse and um, this, this the largest purse ever, I, I understand it is. Tell yeah, us about that yeah. and uh, so, the races that we can expect. So I think the, the, the horse owners are very, very happy with the purses that they're seeing. Uh, when I first announced horse racing return about two months ago, I think the purse was at 115,000. That now exceeds 130,000. We have had a lot of businesses, uh, private people that has been reaching out to myself who want to get involved to make this event possible. Uh, so several people have called and they want to add it on top of the purses that we have already had. Uh, that day we're going to have about seven races uh, the first race of the day is a native race. We wanted to involve St. Croix. We know that they have a lot of the native horses over there, but because their track is also down at this moment, we wanted to make sure that they was part of this festivity. So we have five horses that will be running in the first race, native horse. And the purse for that is a guaranteed $10,000, but we did have a business called in yesterday and want to add an additional 5,000 on top of that 10. So that race now stands at $15,000. 
Wonderful. And I know there's some spe special seating arrangements. Um, and tell us about yeah. admission uh, to get into the, the recreational facility. Yes. Yeah, so for the first time ever again, what we did this year is we, we put this event uh, online. Uh, you know, before in the past, you only could purchase tickets at the gate on race day. I wanted to ease the crowd and make the visitors experience a little better. So we did put all of our tickets online, giving people an opportunity to pre-purchase. Uh, something that's new in the grandstand this year is it's not a, a total aluminum section bleacher. We did carve out about 500 seats that now have that folding seat back, which is a little more comfortable uh, to sell to the crowd. Those tickets went for $40. General admission went for 25 And then we added a VIP area. Um, if you've ever traveled to the States, um, you truly feel like this is the sport of kings uh, where you can... Uh, pay for you know that extra service vip top shelf liquor uh food um and they're located directly up in front of the grandstand so those are some new things that we added just to increase the visitor experience wonderful i want you to speak uh, to the general public uh mr white not only in the united states virgin islands but the bvi i know we have a special boat that's uh, going to be able to come down yeah. and for persons uh traveling from the bvi they can come down uh, specifically for the races but i want you to speak directly yeah. to the people and just encourage them to come out uh to this activity i i we have horse race uh horse racing enthusiasts all across the virgin islands i have a few of them um in my household who are they, yeah. they literally felt like a piece of them uh, was lost when we did not have the races. Of course, unfortunately, in the BVI, we have not uh, gotten to the point as yet where we can have our races. But luckily enough for us, our sister uh, brethren over in the United States Virgin Islands, you guys have been able to do it. So we get to enjoy that. So speak to the people uh, who want to come out and enjoy the races. Well, first, let me put it on the record that the U.S. Virgin Islands and the British Virgin Islands has always had a long-standing relationship together. Uh, when our track went down in 2017, the BVI at that time still had their race track. Um, as a matter of fact, our starting gate, we did an MOU with the promoter up there, and we used to send our starting gate up to up to Tartola so that they can have races. Full circle now, the, their track is is not up, and ours is down. And I expect a lot of the the BVI people to come down. I know there is a boat leaving Road Town. I think at 10:30 uh, a.m. in the morning. And it's leaving from Red Hook at 6 p.m. that evening. But, you know, horse racing culturally is something that's also big in the BVI. And I expect that boat to be jam-packed with people coming down to the races. Uh, you know, one of you, your fellow BVI uh, people, Les Moore, who was the we former track for, promoter. We're coming for your governor's cup. Well, yeah, yeah. He told me, he told me that, that that cup is going back across the water Absolutely. to the BVI. I saw his horse yesterday, a beautiful horse, and I know a lot of people are coming out to support him. But that's the type of relationship that we have, um, not just in horse racing, but just all around. We have the BVI, USVI Friendship Week. Um, so I look forward to seeing our fellow counterparts coming down and enjoying the races with us. Mr. White, I know you're extremely busy, so I'm going to let you go. But thank you so much for your time. And of course, once again, uh, congratulations to you and your team uh, for making the return of horse racing in the United States Virgin Islands a success. Uh, we wish you a safe and enjoyable incident-free day of races. And most importantly, of course, uh, much success um, and safety to all of the participants. And I thank you so much for inviting me in, on, on your show. Uh, look forward to coming back at a later time to probably recap what happened and probably just talk about sports in general, territory wise. Beautiful. Not a problem. Viewers, that's thank all you. the time we have. Have a beautiful rest of the day, and we'll see you in St. Thomas at the uh, United States Virgin Islands uh, horse racing, the return of horse racing. You have just heard from Mr. Calvert White, the USVI Commissioner of the Department of Sports, Parks, and Recreation. Goodbye.